guys, so today after so, so, so many requests, I'm finally here to do the Rihanna work inspired makeup tutorial. It was hard to kind of pin down what she was wearing because she was either in the shade or humping someone's leg. So I decided instead of going like literal recreation to give it a little bit more of a dramatic spin, I made my eyeliner a little bit more seductive and mysterious and intense. So besides from the eyeliner, I think this is pretty close to what Rihanna was wearing. <sighs> Green lips green lips people. I had so much fun doing this look for you and if you want to know how to get it then please keep on watching. All right the first thing we're going to do is go in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer because my skin still feels very dry so we need all the moisture we can get. For foundation today, I'm gonna try something new. This is by Milani and this is their Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Conceal. We all know that doesn't work. The 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer uh, Foundation in number one, Creamy Vanilla, and I'm gonna try it out. It's my first time trying it and I cannot wait to see, oh, that it has a pump. And I'm gonna apply it using my Beauty Blender. Oh dang, you got coverage, baby. Oh wow, oh shit, I was not expecting that. Okay, so maybe you don't need concealer with this. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes, Milani. Okay, so far, very good. For concealer today, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, and this is in the color Y21. Okay, now that you look like you belong to an art museum, it's time to blend it all in. And now I'm gonna bake using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. Okay, so that is the exact same color as my skin tone. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in using the NARS Soft Loose Velvet Powder in Snow to lighten it a little bit. Already priming my eyelids using my MAC Soft Yorker Paint Pot and my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. Now I'm gonna go into this Belfure eyeshadow palette and taking this light matte color right here. And with my new favorite Tweezerman blender brush, I'm just gonna set that from crease to brow bone area. And why I love this brush so much is because it's big, soft, and just it takes up a really wide range of eye space. And it just, oh, it's just, it's just what you need in life. As my transition shade, I'm going back into that Belfure eyeshadow palette and taking this color right here. And for this, I'm using a MAC 224. And also blending it out on the outer edges right here, just whisking it up and out to get a nice elongated eye shape. And you can always go back in with that Tweezerman brush and a little bit of that skin tone eyeshadow and blend the edges to make them super super soft and blown out. From that same palette I'm taking this dark chocolate brown shadow and with my Cosette S185 I'm just defining the outer V. So I'm starting off by placing the most color on the lid on the outer corners of the lid and then I'm gonna work my way up into the crease and start softly blending it in there and whisk it out. And you just wanna keep doing this until you feel like you have reached the darkness that you like and the blend that you like. For the lower lash line, we're gonna go into that same dark brown color and the Tweezerman Line Glider Brush. And I'm just really gonna darken and smoke out the lower lash line with this. I really love this brush because you have such precise color application, yet you still have the power to blend it out with this brush. I mean, look how defined and precise that lower lash line is just with this brush. With the ColourPop Gel Liner in Swerve, I'm gonna make my waterline black. And 
then going back in with that dark chocolate color to smudge the black out and make it even more smoky. Now it's time for the amazing glitter. This is Max Glitter in Gold. And as my mixing medium, I'll be using the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and applying it with my glitter brush, the Tweezerman Shader Brush. So first I lay down the mixing medium with the same brush and then press the glitter over top. For that gorgeous eyeliner, I'm first going to start off using the Tarte So Fine Micro Liner on the inner corners. Then making the outline of my wing using the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. And filling it all in using my Sigma Line Ace in Legend. All right, now to finish off the eyes, my eyelashes need a good curl. And today I'll be using this rose gold Tweezerman eyelash curler. And this one especially is for rounder eyes and it's rose gold, so. All aboard on the curling train. And we're off. Okay, perfect. Now some waterproof mascara to hold that curl. And for lashes, I'll be using the House of Lashes Temptress Wispies. All right, time for the cheeks. Now, this was kind of hard to find out what Rihanna was wearing because she pretty much was in the dark this entire video. So just like the eyes, I kind of made my own spin of it. I'm also gonna do that with the cheeks. So first I'm gonna contour using my Medium Sculpting Powder by Kevin Aquan and my favorite contouring brush, the Morphe M530. For some additional warmth, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer in Light Medium and my Cosette Number no. 1 brush. For blush, I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of Max Modern Mandarin. And because it's so bright, you really wanna use a light hand. And the brush I'll be using is my Cosette number two. For highlighter, I'm gonna use a combo of Becca Moonstone and Anastasia Beverly Hills Sunburst. And together, this is just one big lusciousness. And we're gonna go for that ultimate glow. I see a lot of gurus on YouTube also highlight like above the arch of their brows and just the whole shebang. So today we're gonna do the whole shebang. I'm gonna use a different brush than I normally would. Today I'm gonna use the Motives Fan Brush. Looks like this, oh, oh. Yeah, so this is the Motifs fan brush and it is a little bit more dense and thick than my Morphe one, so I just wanna try it out. Oh boy, <laughs> it packs on the glow. Whole, whole, mm. Oh my God, China can see this and I live in Holland. Okay, I see, how can you not see this? I see you, holy biscuits. Oh yeah. I was gonna highlight the tip of my nose. And my Cupid's bow. To set everything and to get rid of all the powder, I'm gonna step my face using my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. For lips, of course, we're gonna go for those green iconic lips that Rihanna wore in her music video. And this is by Colored Rain, and this is in the color Ivy. And if you know me, my dog is called Ivy, so when I saw that this lipstick was called Ivy, I was like, meant to be, meant to be. So yeah, no lip liner, no anything, just Colored Rain Ivy. And I do have a discount for you if you wanna save some dollars. For Colored Rain, use code Nikki one and you'll get some dollars off. All right, ready for the battle. I've never worn green lips and I'm kind of nervous. Mm. Mm. Oh. 
Yes. Why is this so oddly satisfying? And that guys concludes my Rihanna work inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or my blog, NakedTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. That all is Naked Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching again, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'm here to bring you my February hits in a God knows and February has been really, really, really amazing because I have some great, great news.